After falling to the Vegas Nighthawks in the first home game of the season in Week 2, 45-43, the Arizona Rattlers headed into Bay Area to take on the defending champion Bay Area Panthers for a Week 3 matchup, still without their starting quarterback and defending champion Dalton Sneed. Unfortunately, I did not get to watch this game live, but I did watch the condensed version of the game, and I want to go ahead and give you guys a very quick video, because I need to keep you informed on everything Arizona Rattlers. We start off just a couple of minutes into Quan Neal, a three-yard rushing touchdown, 7-0 Bay Area. A little under four minutes to go in the first quarter, Dawson Evitz, a 24-yard field goal, making it 7-3 Bay Area. Low-scoring first quarter. Then just two seconds into the second quarter, Shane Simpson with a four-yard rushing touchdown, 14-3 Bay Area. A few minutes later at 11.04, Lorenzo Brown Jr., a one-yard rushing touchdown. We are right back to within a field goal, 14-10. Then at 6.21 of the second quarter, Daquan Neal, eight-yard rushing touchdown, 20-10. And the Arizona Rattlers respond with a field goal, another 24-yard field goal by Dawson Evitz, making it 20-13 with two minutes and 16 seconds to go in the first half. With 53 seconds to go, Daquan Neal, another rushing touchdown. It is 27-13, and Bay Area seems to really start running away with this game. Game. No pun intended, but the Rattlers can't seem to stop the run. Then, just 14 seconds later, with 39 seconds to go in the half, Lorenzo Brown Jr. finds Glenn Gibbons Jr. for an 11-yard touchdown. It is 27-20 heading into the second half. The Rattlers get the ball to start the third quarter, and at 13-19, Glenn Gibbons Jr., a 26-yard touchdown. Massive play by Lorenzo Brown Jr. and Glenn Gibbons Jr. It is 27-all. Rattlers get the ball back, and with 3 minutes and 20 seconds to go, Lorenzo Brown finds who else? Glenn Gibbons Jr. Jr. once more, a 12-yard receiving touchdown. The Rattlers get the ball back with 3 minutes and 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Who else? Brown finds Gibbons Jr. It is 34-27. The Rattlers take their first lead of the game late in the third quarter. However, 4 minutes and 11 seconds later, Bay Area would tie it up. Shane Simpson, another rushing touchdown, 34 all. Before Glenn Gibbons Jr. gets his first, second, third, fourth touchdown of the night on a 24-yard pass from Lorenzo Brown, it is 41-34 the Rattlers get the lead right back. One minute later, with six minutes and 22 seconds to go in the game, Daquan Neal on a 19-yard throw finds former ASU alum and former Rattlers receiver Jezerick Peterson for the touchdown that would tie it 41-all. The Rattlers take the ball all the way down the field, and with about two minutes to go, Jamal Miles coughs the ball up, and that was the first turnover of the night. It was a fumble. Then, officially, with three seconds to go, JT Stokes with a touchdown 47-41 to in favor of the Bay Area Panthers, and on the final opportunity for the Rattlers, Lorenzo Brown Jr. goes back and the line does not protect him he is brought down without the ability to throw and the rattlers lose this one by a final of 47 to 41 it was close but one costly turnover was the difference in this game and that does feel like the overall narrative with the modern arizona rattlers at least as long as i've been covering them all it takes is one freak play and you know what it, it, it was a great like bay area's defense played well enough from what i saw in the footage it's just they made big plays, I have to give them credit, and the Rattlers fall, making this officially a two-game losing streak. Looking at some individual stats, Lorenzo Brown Jr., 14 for 20, 161 yards and four touchdowns, really good performance by him. Carl Odom, eight attempts, 52 rushing yards. Jamal Miles, four attempts, 18 rushing yards, and Lorenzo Brown Jr., uh, nine attempts, 18 yards, and a rushing touchdown. Glenn Gibbons Jr. Glenn Gibbons Jr. has been the best addition for the Rattlers in the offseason. Four receptions, all touchdowns, 73 yards. Isaiah Houston, four receptions, 50 yards. Jamal Miles, four receptions, 31 yards. And Carl Odom had two receptions for seven yards. On the defensive end of the ball, there was not a whole lot. Devontae Merriweather recorded a tackle for loss and broke up a pass, as well as Jermaine Dobbs. Point after is Dawson Evitz was 5 for 5. Had to end this on a positive note somehow. Uh, so that is the week 3 matchup between the Arizona Rattlers and the Bay Area Panthers. I do apologize this video is as late as it is. However, I am committed to giving you guys timely quality Rattlers coverage. Make sure to stay tuned to Arena Football Talk because even right now I am not done talking Arizona Rattlers football.